Flames coach Bill Peters' absence on the bench tonight speaks volumes about the seriousness of the allegations against him and about the state of hockey. But earlier in the day at Flames practice, the team only wanted to talk about the game. You know, I don't have any comment about that. I'm just here to talk about hockey. It's tough news to hear, but I mean, at the same time, it's uh, right now we're just thinking about uh, the game against Buffalo. A player Peters coached in the minors is accusing him of using the N-word repeatedly. In a letter to the team's general manager today, Peters acknowledged using offensive language a decade ago. He says he apologized at the time and that, quote, it was not directed at anyone in particular, but that doesn't matter. It was hurtful and demeaning, and I'm truly sorry. But he doesn't acknowledge what another player is alleging. Two incidents of physical abuse confirmed by his former team today. Talking about the incident that, you know, with Bill, uh, for sure happened, the two, two issues that are in question. The Hurricanes didn't fire Peters after those incidents. They gave him a new contract. But at this rink in Calgary, the hope is this time will be different. I think he's done. That's the way it should be. Yeah, racial slurs and, yeah, some pretty nasty words were spoken. So, yeah, it's unacceptable. Most on this ice agree bad actors have no place in hockey. Still, there's an understanding that racism and abuse are a reality in their sport. I mean, I've played hockey. I know what shit people say. And I mean, it's not limited to one person. Just because, you know what I mean? Like, how it's do you... It's a culture, really. Yeah, a little bit. And I don't think it has to do with race either. I think it has to do with, you know, like, positions of power. But so. should it stop? Of course. And those who follow hockey say the NHL is changing. Yeah, I think the message from the NHL would probably be that, uh, you know, this is not tolerable in today's world. Uh, you can't act that way. You can't conduct yourself in a, in a racist fashion. How Bill Peters' story will end isn't yet clear. The Calgary Flames say they continue to investigate the allegations and could have an update on the future of their coach tomorrow. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary. Now, of course, there have been allegations of mistreatment before from different players about different coaches. But right now, it seems people are really li listening, leaning in and reaching out with their own stories. And as CBC Sports' Devin Haru shows us, for one player who was raising alarm a year ago, that is a big change. I'm not surprised. Uh, I've been in that hockey culture. Here they go again. Daniel Carcillo knows what happens behind the closed doors of an NHL locker room and also knows about keeping his mouth shut just to stay in his coach's good books. These coaches can help you achieve your dream. That's why you're seeing all of these stories coming out of junior hockey. They prey on young men's dreams. It forced Carcillo to bottle up his own story of abuse during his junior hockey days until it became too much. Finally breaking his silence a year ago, hands clammy, voice shaking, struggling to find the words. I was yelling like this guy's hyperventilating, you know, we got to get out of here. In the days that followed, Carcillo faced extreme backlash from the hockey community. He believes people weren't ready to hear about the ugly side of the sport. A year ago, people were literally telling me to go kill myself and that I have brain damage and that I clearly have CTE and that I'm just doing this because I want to get on camera. Wait a minute. But in the last month, something has shifted in the hockey world. Don Cherry fired for these divisive comments. You people love you. you they come here, whatever it is. And after the Leafs fired Mike Babcock, players' stories started pouring out about Babcock's coaching tactics and about Flames coach Bill Peters. Carcillo says his phone is lighting up with messages. From current players, former players, from the NHL, the AHL, all the way down to the minors, all the way down to children. Tainted by abuse so scarring, it's changed his life forever. Stanley Cup glory, Carcillo says, means nothing to him now. Devin Haru, CBC News, Toronto.